If you're on a ranch and you have a great big bale of hay on your shoulder and you have to load it onto the truck, but dang it, the truck is clear out at the road a mile away. So you walk with that bale of hay the whole mile. Now you're pushing on that bale of hay this way and you're moving that bale of hay that way. Physics definition of varic says you did no varic. But you would expect to be paid, would you not? Yeah, you do want to be paid. Okay, now let me show you another example. Is there anyone here that bench presses? Come on, don't be shy. I'm gonna, thank you sir for volunteering. Come on down. Come on down. Oh yeah, oh yeah. This is the first. Uh -huh, all right. What's your name? Bennett. Bennett. Okay, I need you to lie on your back right there. Bennett, how much can you bench press? Oh, this is super. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Okay. Uh, he can bench press uh, 400 pounds. Ooh. Now, remember, each pound is is like five newtons. So that means he can bench press 2,000 newtons. It sounds more impressive than newtons. I love it. it, I love it. Okay, <laughs> now what I want you to do, Bennett, is just push that up at a slow constant speed and stop at the top. Okay, as he's pushing that up at a constant velocity, how hard does he have to push if this weighs 2,000 newtons? Does he have to push harder than 2,000 equal to 2,000 or less than 2,000? If he has constant velocity, that's zero acceleration. Do your free body diagram. He has to push exactly 2,000 newtons. Now he has to push a little bit harder to get it started, a little bit less to get it stopped. But on average, he's pushing exactly 2,000 newtons. And he's pushing it up about half a meter. Now he's pushing up and it's moving up. What flavor of Varric is Bennett doing, positive or negative? Positive. positive Varric, and how much, how many joules? 2,000 newtons, half a meter, 1,000 joules, okay, of positive Varric. Now Bennett, I want you to just slowly bring that down to your chest and stop. Okay, now Bennett was pushing on that up, and it was moving down. What flavor of Varric was he doing? Negative. negative. And he was doing negative. He had to push with 2,000 pounds up. A little bit less to get it started, a little bit more to get it stopped. But 2,000 pounds for half a meter. He did negative 1,000 joules. Now what I'd like you to do now, Bennett, is just slowly up, slowly down. Slowly up, slowly down. A little slower, okay? Plus 1,000 joules, minus 1,000 joules. Plus 1,000 joules, minus 1,000 joules. Plus 1,000 joules, minus 1 joules. Why do we call this a bear count? <laughs> he is doing no bear, according to the physics definition. Let's give him a hand, folks. Thank you. Okay. Now, clearly, Clearly, this physics varic uh, is different than what we every day uh, call work. And often, often, that's what gets in the way of our understanding, is many times we have used the same words in physics that have already been used in everyday life. We're going to find next week that physics use of the word elastic is way different than what you think of when you think of elastic. Okay, so, so this is something that you have to be aware of to guard against. 